Welcome to this Acumatica tutorial. My name is Zach Mayer with the Mayer Group, and today we're going to be taking a look at users and employees within Acumatica. Let me move my photo out of the way. The first section we're going to talk about is users, and we can navigate to our users screen using Universal Search at the top here, or by navigating to the user security workspace, typically probably hidden under more items, and then users will be the first option under the user management section. When we open up the user screen, we will have the ability to begin creating a brand new user account or search through our existing users with the magnifying glass in the login field. When we open up an existing user record, we're going to see some information displayed below, such as our first name, last name, and email, as well as the user roles that are currently assigned to this user account. You could also see some statistics on that user record, if there's any external identities configured, any personal settings such as their time zone or homepage, which would typically be a dashboard as a great homepage example, any email information, etc. Now the user roles we see on the roles tab are going to determine what security access each user account will have. We can configure new user roles using the user role screen also found in the user security workspace directly underneath the user screen. Acumatica will have a long list of roles that are already configured right out of the box, but we can also create new roles using this screen as well. You're gonna see a list of users that already are assigned to each role, and you can easily add additional users to this list from here as well. Now to configure what level of access this role actually grants, we use a different screen being access rights by role, also found in user security. When we go to our access rights by role screen, we're going to select which role we would like to modify the security access for, maybe in this case, AP admin. And then we can look down the list of workspaces and configure the level of access on each screen. Since this is an AP admin role, if I go to the payables module, I would expect to see the highest level of access granted to this admin level. Now you have some screens that you can either grant or revoke, or you have screens with multiple levels or tiers of access where we can have delete being the highest level and then insert, edit, view only, and revoked going down that chain. Any screen that is not set in a workspace that has at least one screen configured will default to revoked access. Once you have your user configured and their level of security access defined, we can also create employee records. We do that on the employee screen, which I can find by searching employee in Universal Search or by navigating to the configuration workspace and underneath the organization category. I can see my list of pre-configured employees here with the ability to create a brand new employee using my plus button at the top. When I open up an employee screen, I'm going to see some additional information on this employee that is not captured on the user screen. I still have their first name, last name, and email, but I might want to capture some phone information, address level data, or some branch, department, calendar, etc. Now, when I do have an employee tied to a user, I will see that listed here under employee login. When I'm creating that user account, if I already had my employee configured, I would populate their name in the linked entity field, and it would automatically populate their first name, last name, and email directly from the employee setup. If I create the user first and the employee second, I can always come back and populate this linked entity field at a later time. Some other information we can see on our employee would be some history of the employee record, financial data such as the GL accounts or payment information, any employee attributes or free fields we may configure, activities, mailing and printing, approval, etc. If you ever want to see what a user's security level looks like and you have the, pro the proper permissions to do so, you can also select any user in the system and use the sign in as user button at the top to view Acumatica through their eyes. You can see exactly what level of permissions are granted through the screens that they have access to to make sure they have the proper level of security. You also have the ability to reset the password for any user that may not be able to log in. 
You can force a user to change the password the next time they log in, or of course, disable a user account you no longer want to be active. If you have any other questions regarding users or employee setup, don't hesitate to reach out to the Mayor Group and make sure to like and subscribe this video to make sure you see all of our upcoming and future Acumatica tutorials. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial.